Heartbroken mother now planning her daughter's funeral after a fire that killed her and her father in the Bronx. Tonight, there's a growing memorial at the Throgs Neck building where 13-year-old Yolanda Rojas and her father Nelson died. Iowa's News reporter Candace McCown spoke with the little girl's mother today. There are many heartbroken people inside of this building that knew that father and daughter, but perhaps no one more heartbroken than the mother of that 13-year-old girl who arrived today from the Dominican Republic. For Natalie Sosa, the pain is just too much to bear. Her youngest child, 13-year-old Yolanda, and her father, 62-year-old Nelson Rojas, were in their fourth-floor apartment in the Throgs Neck houses Sunday when a fire broke out. They were rushed to the hospital but didn't survive. I was in Santo Domingo. The detectives called me. I just got here. I'm going to take her body back home. It's something no mother should ever have to do. The heartbreak of her daughter's death only compounded by the fact that she hadn't seen her in the past three years because of a custody battle. And Natalie says she was so close to getting her back. I had to go to court on the 4th of January, but the court date was canceled because of the snowstorm. I was going to get custody of my daughter. The fire marshal says the fire that killed Yolanda and her father was caused when an electrical hot plate ignited nearby bedding. Those who knew the father and daughter tell us they were inseparable. They were always together. You know, you never saw him and not see her. They were always together. Yolanda's godmother said they came to the burned out apartment today, hoping to find something of Yolanda's to hold on to. A lot of her things were burned. We were able to salvage some of her belongings to remember her. Holding on to all they have left, memories of a child who's gone too soon. <laughs> Goodbye forever. She was an angel in heaven because she was an angel on earth. She was such a sweet girl. And outside this building where the fire happened, you can see there's this memorial with candles, flowers, and teddy bears in memory of that father and daughter. The fire marshal saying that this fire was an accident.